Hello and welcome to Warblog. Today we're looking at this um, Shab Al Jin scenario. This is uh, Yemen, uh, twenty seventeen. Essentially, this is a, an interesting scenario um, that introduces missiles. Uh, I've had missile counters for a while, but I never had them working, and they are actually sort of working now. Um, I've made a slight tweak for the immediate settings to make the video. Um, but essentially, what you'll see here is got a missile. Um, that's pretty much it, and it's going to fire on this unit here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. But just a little bit of background. Obviously, it's Yemen. Um, I don't know where Shab Al Jin is. Now I've put it there. Um, now there are a few links. There's this Muslim press. There's this AA. I don't know what that stands for. And there's these two South Front ones. The South Front one covers the um, the, the actual situation. Um, let's see what happens when we click it. Uh, the Houthi Salah Alliance's missile units have launched an attack on the Saudi-led coalition forces deployed in the southeastern province of Taiz. It says killing at least 150 soldiers, other things such as six, and destroying 10 of their military vehicles. So, um, uh, now the thing is, Saudi-led coalition forces deployed in Shab al-Jin. Now, Bab Al Mandeb. Bab Al Mandeb is, is actually the water straits through here, so it's near there. It says it's in um, Taiz province. Yeah, um, it says it's in Taiz province somewhere. which is this. Now I've chosen the map because it shows Taiz province sort of goes like this something like that. So basically I've got the the coastline. I think it goes from about there. You just have to look at it. So the, the coastline for Taiz province is along here and if you look at the second south front link it shows you the map of your men which is indicates a sort of front line along in there. So presumably the base is near the waterway, but in this section here, maybe down here, it could be down here, 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 or here. Probably not that far down. So it's probably at least going to be sort of. I think it's going to be somewhere along here. So I've put it there, uh, but don't know where it is. So it could be somewhere else. But that's what everything indicates. Um, also, uh, I've put in the um, Saudi Royal Army. Um, but it doesn't really say the Saudi Royal Army, it sort of says Saudi-led coalition forces. Um, now, I mean, reading some of the other articles, well, there's a, there's a Twitter thing as well. Um, it says the Yemeni army, which, which is what it seems to be referring to the Houthis as, um, and popular committees target Saudi coalition forces Al-Raid Brigade. So I've called them the Al-Raid Brigade. So that's the Saudi Royal Army Al Raid Brigade, but I don't know whether they are Saudi Royal Army, just use their counters. Um, the Muslim press basically states uh, more than 150 of Saudi led coalition forces have been killed or injured. Saffron says just killed, so small difference. Um, the, um, the, the DAA says Yemen's Shia Houthi militia group and its allies launched an attack on the military site near the uh, Bab al -Man -Bab Mandab Strait on Thursday, killing a number of government soldiers. Um, Faham al Subaili, a government field commander, uh, said Houthi militia men and allied forces, in order to the former Yemeni president Ali Abdullah Saleh, had fired a ballistic missile at the Shab al Jen military camp, which is located near the strategic waterway. Um, according to Al uh, Subhai, uh, the government field commander. Uh, the missile attack left six government soldiers dead and dozens more injured. Um, so Houthi officials quoted by Yemen's Houthi-linked Saba press agency said the militia men had fired the missile at a concentration of government troops deployed at the army camp. So essentially that's pretty much what we're reflecting here. 
um, it does sort of go on to essentially um, yeah the the, the, the thing the, the, the Tia's border goes like that this is sort of the point of it so from there to there is the coastline obviously the Houthis have got this part so Saab al Jin is, is going to be down here somewhere in here so that's a good place for it um, so basically other things that are interesting obviously Yemen obviously there's a lot going on uh, clearly they've got ballistic missiles which I find astounding um, so let's just let's just play the game to start off with because I've, I've made a small modification now when you put your mouse over it because ballistic missiles are new you get all the details and in this instance you'll see the number 100 now that's actually not accurate in the sense that I've given it 100 because I was testing it in this game they will only have one it'll only be able to fire once the ballistic missiles are pretty tough, although they're not that tough. Um, I mean, they just fired one and probably killed between six and 150 people, probably more like six. But you know, they're just big explosions. And these ballistic missiles, I think they were using a lot of them in Libya, um, off the carriers during the Libyan Re civil war. Um, so they're just very, very big bombs. And obviously, the thing about them is it, it's only a matter of whatever they've got in their warhead for them to be tactical nuclear missiles you know it's pretty much the same thing i mean i'm not really that versed up with it but you know these you don't make these in your garden shed so that's what's going on here that's one of the reasons i did this and um so we've now got some rules in there to cover ballistic missiles um and so without further ado let's just fire it so it basically works in exactly the same way it considers it the artillery we just click that. Um, this threw me a bit. When it's only artillery, it says artillery only, so you don't do the odds. The odds don't count. So on, on this one, we did 2.6 damage against this first unit and 2.2 damage against this other unit. So that is pretty much how they work. Um, just like artillery. Under the nor when, when I set this game live, that will be it. That's all it can fire. At the moment, I've got 99 more because I was testing it. Um, but it goes down one so every time you fire a ballistic missile it, it goes down you know it loses a missile and so you only have so many um, it's not like artillery which you can just fire forever um, and so thinking thinking <laughs> I could do ammunition rules this way but no I don't want to do that maybe, maybe I, don't, I don't know anyway but anyway so that's that's the sort of ballistic missiles Back to the sort of the scenario, it's just interesting in so many other regards. Um, the South Front article actually also includes this other part. It says, on Saturday, many security sources said that Al-Qaeda terrorists were transported from the Syrian northern city of Aleppo to Aden by Turkish plane, uh, which also evacuated wounded pro-Saudi fighters to medical treatment centres located outside the country. So I think basically what they're saying is that Turkish that Turkey has been shipping Al-Qaeda militias from Aleppo, um, presumably after they've been, you know, driven out in their little green buses, down into Yemen to continue the fight there, presumably to continue the fight there. I mean, you know, I don't know what else they're going to do there. I mean, I just, so this, thing, this whole situation just seems so bizarre. Uh, I mean, you've got Al Qaeda. I mean, you know, they just, I thought they were like the number one scary terrorist force, second only to ISIS. Um, you know, I was watching the um, a, a YouTube video about the fall of Mosul, uh, and it was talking about Al Qaeda and how they work and how they, you know, they instigate chaos. And, and in the, 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 you know, the flames of chaos, they basically strike. Uh, so they've got riot, riots and things like that. I mean, that, that is pretty much what makes them a terrorist organisation. So they will blow things up, and you know what went during all the chaos of that. They'll then do whatever it is they do, um, and, and that was the principle that they used to attack Mosul. And they, uh, I think everyone, you know, the, the principle of that was people were surprised and shocked that because Mosul just fell. They didn't wasn't expecting that. It was just really an attack, and in the chaos of that, uh, they wound up, you know, gaining the city. But anyway, that's, that's, some, that's something else. The fact is, you know, it does mention that they're bringing these Al-Qaeda units down to you men. I just find that so bizarre that, you know, Turkey can do that. And, I mean, the fact that they're shipping wounded um, um, 
pro-Saudi fighters, presumably back to Turkey for medical treatment, or perhaps back to, to, to Saudi Arabia. That's not so, you know, I mean, that's just using logistics and, and shipping and things like that. So the thing is, these might be Al-Qaeda units. Um, now, they they ship down to Aden. Aden is down here. It used to be sort of a British protectorate. Um, it's not there. It's, I don't know how far down it is, but if you follow this road, you get to Aden. And so that's where the Al-Qaeda units have all gone. Um, whether or not these are the, this is the Al-Qaeda units acting as the, the, the pro-Saudi uh, fighters, I, I don't know. Um, the Turkish airplane landed at the Aden International Airport to transport so proud of the pro-Saudi mercenaries wounded in the Yemeni, wounded in the Yemeni forces offences in Taiz province for treatment in Turkish hospitals. So it does say they're going to Turkey for treatment in Turkish hospitals. The Al Had News website quoted an unnamed source, so it could be fake news. The source also noted that about 150 Al Qaeda terrorists got off the plane after it landed, adding that they were transported to Aden from Syrian Aleppo. Yeah, so it's repeating the same thing. The only other thing it, it does sort of say in one of these other ones um, is that in a related development, this is under the AA link, it says Saudi coalition warplanes report, repeat, reportedly struck a number of sites affiliated with the Houthis and their allies in the city of Duba and Al Jadid. Now I think that's Duba there, and I don't know where Al Jadid is. Um, and we don't have units in there, so but we will then basically do the other part of this. So we've got our Saudi fighter, so we're going to go in and attack that unit. Okay, so we've still got some blurb coming up there. So that was a two to one. That was a 2 to 1 attack. I had 4.5, which is that, versus 2, so it's 3 times 1.5. So 0 0.3 damage against that unit. I'll have to get rid of that blurb. Um, so, so essentially, this whole scenario, and it's not so much unique, but you know, it, it is really designed only to reflect the ballistic missile attack on the grounds that you know it's not every day you see ballistic missiles going off. Um, and also it encompasses the um, the attack on the sort of Dubar the Dubar region by, by Saudi Arabia. But there's no ground offences, so there's no sort of like, oh, I'm going to move this. Why? I'm going to move my troops around. This is why it's very general. You know, you're not really. It's just to really give you an idea of where the front line is. I mean, if you want to start moving the troops around, then then you can. But there's, it's not designed for that. It's really designed so you can just get a sense of using these ballistic missiles. Um, etc and to some extent maybe to introduce them because they are new to the game um, I mean as I said there are a few others where uh, Houthi forces fire their ballistic missiles actually into Saudi Arabia I've, I've seen a couple of those but didn't have the, the system in play then um, so you know, maybe I can start modelling those a little more uh, they also use the ballistic missiles in um, the Libyan civil war um, now I will be introducing them again pretty much in exactly the same capacity but from but they will appear as air units so this is a ground based so if you look at it it says Houthi ballistic missile ground company um, while also having ballistic missiles which are essentially air now they might not come from the air uh, and they might not be airborne they might come from carrier ships or something like that but essentially they'll be off map so um, so that's pretty much that really um, I don't know whether I've covered everything because I don't really, I don't really make lists on this. Um, but I just think it's sort of quite interesting. I mean, Yemen is just such a forgotten conflict; it just doesn't seem to be bothering anyone. And they're firing ballistic missiles, not so much at each other, but um, yeah. So there you go. Okay, well I'll, I'll leave it at that. If you want to see if you can fire that ballistic missile yourself, sign up and um, you know move the counters around. Speak to you later. Cheers, mate.